Wow, that's of course the people of France responding to austerity measures. I wonder how uh, Americans will do. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukradowski here of WeAreChange.org, and we have a plethora of absolutely crazy news to get into, as of course it looks like a lot of things are unraveling in our mainline corporate society. But don't worry, the establishment goons that will say anything for a dollar on the corporate mainstream media are telling you everything's fine and hunky-dory, when in reality, a lot of people understand it is definitely not. We're going to be talking about that, plus a lot more all here on this independent media outlet. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, which, which is perfect for today of Klaus Schwab saying you will own nothing and you will be happy, you could get that shirt on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is, of course, clips from all the civil unrest that happened in Paris, France over the weekend, as of course the government there is creating policies, tightening the economic belt, setting up some austerity measures, and the people of France are not having it. Meanwhile, in the United States for the last few months, even for the last few years, we were told the economy's great. It's doing better than ever. The New York Times wrote mainline headline pieces that read, quote, making the most of the coming Biden boom. And uh, there definitely was a boom, but, but it wasn't an economic one. It, it was an explosion internally from our fractional reserve banking system that, of course, prints money out of thin air, devalues the U.S. dollar, while, of course, giving the best top-notch socialism to some of the biggest multinational corporations and banks in this world while screwing everyone else over, something that we've been complaining about for about 15 years now. This, as many Americans are starting to realize this, and, you know, maybe spending all of our money on woke divisive equity programs wasn't the best of idea, especially under the Biden administration that has been spending a lot of money that, of course, they didn't have. Now, the previous administration also did that to a very large tune that was absolutely fiscally irresponsible. But don't worry, the president of the United States told us today everything is under control. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. Yes, I'm very confident, as, of course, the president scurried away after his announcement, not taking any questions, as his government and, of course, the corporate media keep telling everyone there's going to be no bailout here, no bailout here, and essentially they're getting a bailout. And uh, the banking system doesn't really seem that safe, as, of course, trading was temporarily halted with dozens of banks' shares going down dramatically today as many people fear a contagion spread of collapse with major financial institutions like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, all corrupted financial institutions that, of course, prioritize woke ESG divide-and-conquer agendas rather than actually, you know, being a good bank. But hey, those diversity, equity, inclusion efforts were definitely... Worth the money here, as of course, banks like Silicon Valley Bank were more focused, according to some analysts, on International Lesbian Day, rather than, of course, keeping the house of cards going with the fractional reserve banking system that essentially has been ripping people off. Now, it definitely looks like a lot of these banks are in some very serious trouble here, as depicted by Twitter user Say I Am Kid that documented today's downfall, which uh, looks like it's uh, not going to be stopping here. As many people are asking themselves, where is all this FDIC money coming from that's supposed to be now protecting hundreds of billions of dollars that are going to be protecting 100% of the deposits by SVB? Where is all this money going to be coming from? Well, according to this administration, not from the taxpayer. How? I don't know. This as the second and third largest banking collapse in US history has just happened back to back as, of course, things like Bitcoin have skyrocketed in value. 
This as currently the price of Bitcoin has jumped up 15.67% with people like Max Kaiser going crazy today predicting a 10x in price here. Now, will that happen? Who in the world knows? But it's not just cryptocurrencies making a big rebound here. It's also things like gold, which brings us perfectly to one of the companies that we have announced that we were working with weeks ago. And this is, I mean, this couldn't be more perfect timing than anything else. As of course, we have officially started to work with gold, IRA Patriot. Com that is supporting us because we have shared values and goals. This as they do a lot of really interesting things when it comes to, of course, investment, when it comes to retirement accounts. And if you're interested in diversifying in gold in potentially a tax-saving way, check out goldirapatriots.com. The link to them is down in the description below. You could give them your phone number or their email. They will send you what they are doing, and I think they're worth hearing out. They work with a lot of major big players. I personally believe in gold. I met some of the people behind this company. They share some of the same values. They understand what's going on as us, and that's why we decided to officially partner up with goldirapatriots.com. This, as we've been working on this partnership almost this entire year for, for two months now. No, actually even longer. Since the TPUSA event, since I met the people there, we've been talking, we've been working together. We're not just trying to promote them now. We were promoting them before. This, as it's looking like, according to some financial analysts, gold is also making a run for it. So yeah, check out goldirapatriots.com. And if you remember weeks ago, specifically, we were telling you, hey, on lukeunfiltered.com, our own members area, it might be important to quote, diversify. Now, there's a lot of schemes. There's a lot of liars. There's a lot of con artists in the larger financial markets, especially even in the alternative markets. And the solid advice we gave you weeks ago, months ago, years ago, since we've been talking about this ever since 2008. Again, the writing here has been on the walls for a very long time. What happened in 2008 was a travesty of actual severe injustice that, of course, we confronted many of the big players who were involved in it, like Ben Bernanke, that had secret international banking billionaire bailouts that no one even knew about that of course we were the one of the few people actually asking them about it and with the banks being extremely irresponsible then they were rewarded for it given bailouts that big bubble that was deflating in 2008 well it was just made even bigger and now we're seeing the larger financial ramifications for it and that's why throughout the last few years we actually called it very accurately and I, I think I'm even going to get some of my team to help me do a compilation video of all the things that we were calling, that's pretty much happening right now. We're going to be doing another video and answering your questions one-on-one -on -one later on today on LukeUnfiltered.com, and I will see you there right after their broadcast, as, of course, it's important to, to bring up the fact here. How else do you think that these larger, very powerful people will get their central bank digital currencies, will get their great resets? How else do you think it was going to happen? And of course, what's happening right now, I think, is a very telling sign of many troubles ahead of us. As even the Daily Mail today has a live webpage detailing all the latest developments with the U.S. economy, with the Silicon Valley bank collapse. This as U.S. Treasury yields are now on track for its biggest two-day drop in history. As even Politico is reporting that there's going to be more bank fallout and failures. And with all the numbers coming in right now, with all the larger financial instability, with all the larger government agencies that have incentivized and allowed this larger robbing of the American public, selling out of our economic future, the U.S. government during this time is not going after the crooks. It's not going after the banksters. It's not going after the people who have robbed you of any kind of financial future, as of course, it's harder and harder to pay for grocery bills. It's almost impossible to own a house. As daily life becomes more and more unaffordable, the U.S. government is focusing on memers. Yes, right now, a memer, Doug Mackey, is being prosecuted by the Biden Department of Justice for posting memes. His trial begins today as he faces 10 years in prison for allegedly spreading some misinformation memes. This, as of course we have to understand here, the reason that I'm bringing this up is, of course, the larger censorious nature of government that has been manipulating political discourse, censoring ideas from the mainline general public is going to be activated during this very key important time. That's why we keep telling you about LukeUnfiltered.com, our own website, our own platform, our own infrastructure where we get to do and say whatever we want because financial misinformation is being added to the quote, critical infrastructure domain so the Department of Homeland Security 
sees and can have a justification for going after shutting down and destroying speech which they think is going to be against the best interest of the current machine that has brought us to this ever so very desperate horrible situation and hey lukeandfilter.com hope to see you there right after this broadcast one more video coming your way there i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys actively watching and sharing these videos and that's why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change dot org.